welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna be unbagging my Ipsy, but this time instead of just doing mine and doing a try-on, I'm gonna be comparing my bag with my mom's. I've seen a few other people doing this and I thought it would be fun just because we have different settings on our Ipsy's, so we are gonna get different things most of the time. I do compare ours every so often when I go over to her house and stuff, but today she was kind enough to lend me this bag for my video. So I am gonna be comparing the two bags and also doing a try on of them so as I'm going through the products I am gonna be trying them on on my face and showing you guys and telling you guys what they look like so if you guys aren't already then please subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me and if you guys are interested in seeing the difference between our two bags then just keep on watching okay so I'm gonna start with my bag first and then I'm gonna move on to my mom's so this is what this month's bag looks like it's very pretty I love the black leather with that raised print on it it's super pretty it's actually a really nice size too I really appreciate how big it is so definitely love this first thing in here is the Smashbox photo finish radiance primer I actually already own this primer I have the full-size version of it and I've used it a few times now what I really like using this primer for is when I have no makeup days or mixing it in with a BB cream it's a really pretty hydrating primer and it gives you a really nice glow to the skin and it also has a little bit of a tint to it almost like a warm peachy tint I'll put some on the back of my hand so you can see so it has a little bit of that tint to it and it just really makes your skin look super glowy. So I do really like this primer. The only thing is that the primer doesn't really control my oil. I'm really, really oily, especially in my T-zone. Another thing too is that if you watched my last video, the one that I believe I posted today, I kind of explained in that video what's going on with my skin right now. I have a ton of texture on my face, the most I've ever had in my life. And I just have really bad chemical burns on my face right now from benzoyl peroxide. Anything radiant is kind of going to enhance that texture only because it's catching the light on all the little bumps so that's the only thing that sucks about using this right now when my skin is so textured normally when I put this on it is beautiful and it makes my skin look super soft but other than that I do love this primer the next thing in here is this brush and this is from Luxie Beauty this is a Luxie 207 it's a medium angled shading brush so I've never really tried an angled blending brush and it was kind of weird to put a shade in my crease with this just because I'm not used to the shape of it but I actually do really like it and it's also really good for blending out shadows right in that outer corner so if you want to like wing out your eyeshadow and kind of make it look like a winged liner or like a winged smoky eye it fits really really nice right up in that corner and it's really nice to just like buff that out and wing it out another thing that I noticed that I really do like about this is the shape is perfect for nose contouring I don't really contour my nose that often just because I don't really know how to do it I've never done it in my life up until like six months ago was the first time I tried it but the shape of this just fits perfectly right down the sides of your nose and it just makes it so effortless and easy also this is a synthetic brush so it's going to work really good with cream products so if you like to cream contour this is going to be really really good and easy for your nose then we have this birch juice hydro sleeping pack and it doesn't really say any information on the bottle except for how to use it so i don't know what this is used for other than i'm assuming it's just for moisture so basically you're just supposed to put this on after you wash your face at night and then and sleep with it on then just wash off in the morning but it smells really good and it feels really really soft on the back of my hand so I'm super excited to try this one out I'm gonna try it tonight and then I'll leave a comment down below in the description box and tell you guys how it worked for me and then the last thing in here is this feel renewed pumpkin walnut facial cleanser this is a deep skin treatment and ex gentle exfoliation or exfoliator so I accidentally just broke this cap when I was trying to get it open to smell it and it just kind of like went everywhere but it does smell super good it smells exactly like pumpkins and I love the smell of pumpkins it reminds me of fall the pumpkin is packed with alpha hydroxy acids vitamin a vitamin C and zinc. It's especially effective on dry or dull skin. And then the walnut powder is the gentle exfoliator. So this is just a facial cleanser. I'm super excited to try this out because I love exfoliators too. And especially this says that it's gentle. It's gonna be perfect because I don't like any of those harsh exfoliators on my skin. And it just smells amazing. So I can't wait to try that. And again, I will use this tonight and then leave a comment down below and say how it worked for me. Okay, now moving on to my mom's bag. The first thing she has in here is again, the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. This is the only thing in the entire bag that she got that matched with mine. Everything else in here is different. So the next thing we have is this Pixie by Petra Fresh Face Blush. This is in the shade Beach Rose. 
calls a tongue twister, geez. <laughs> kind of like a peachy undertone blush. It's just a very natural looking blush, but it is very pigmented. When I put it on, I put way too much on. I actually had to go over it with a clean brush and kind of like buff over that because I didn't know it was gonna be as pigmented as it is. Pixie is a really, really good brand from the drugstore. It's very affordable and they have great makeup products. The only thing is that it was just so pigmented, so you only need a tiny little bit and it'll last you a long way for sure. Then she got this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in the shade Ipsy VIP. So I didn't know this, but ColourPop actually made a lip gloss specifically for Ipsy, which is really cool. Their lip gloss formulas are incredible. I love them so much. Now this shade actually does not flatter my skin tone at all. And it makes sense because this is my mom's bag. So her like settings are different online. But um, yeah, pink does not look good on me at all. I don't know what it is. It just like washes me out. But other than that, I love ColourPop so much. They definitely have some of my favorite lip products by far. So yeah, super, super pretty color. It just does not look flattering on me, which really sucks, but that's okay. Okay, then she has two more things in here. She got these two Lily Whitening and Brightening. I believe these are sheet masks. This is what they look like. I'm assuming they're sheet masks just because of the size of them, but I can't really, I mean, it doesn't really have any English on it. It's all Korean. I love sheet masks, so I'm super jealous that she got these. Oh, this one is the whitening and brightening, and then this one, I, I thought they were the same things. This one is mugwort, astrogent, and pore care. So that's pretty cool. Wow, I'm so jealous. I wish I could try these. Okay, then the last thing in here is this Hanale. Mm, I don't know how to say that. The Papaya Enzyme Powder Cleanser. So it looks like there is five little one-time use packets in here. I've never tried a powder cleanser. There's really no writing on this at all, so it doesn't really tell you what it's for. Yeah, there's literally nothing on this packet, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be good for dry skin, oily skin, acne. I don't know, I wish I could open this and use it so I could show you guys. So I think I actually, I'm gonna have to say that I like my bag a little bit more than my mom's this time. Although I am really jealous that she got those sheet masks and I I do like that blush. I really am happy about the brush that I got. I love getting brushes in my bags. And I'm also pretty excited about this cleanser and the sleeping mask. So I think the brush definitely won me over. I love getting brushes, so that definitely made me like mine just a little tiny bit more. I think I might start doing this from now on in all my Ipsy unbaggings just because I like to compare. If you guys are interested in seeing that, then definitely let me know and I will for sure keep doing that. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you guys did, then please give it a thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.